Hello, myself, Professor H. K. Bhangai, Department of Electrical Engineering, SND College of Engineering and Research Center, Evola. I welcome you in the video lecture series of basic electrical engineering. So today we will discuss on the examples to solve some examples on AC circuits. In last lectures, we have studied the theoretical part of the AC circuits. Now let us solve a few examples on that. So the first example, write down the equation for sinusoidal voltage of 50 Hertz and its peak value is 20 volt. Also draw the corresponding voltage versus time graph. So here example statement is given, you have to uh, write down the equation of a sinusoidal voltage whose frequency is given as 50 Hertz and its peak value that is Vm is given as 20 volts. So draw the corresponding voltage versus time graph also. So it is a pure sinusoidal signal. So let us compare or write down the standard equation of AC voltage and put the values, corresponding values in that. So here the solution is given. The given values are F is given as 50 Hertz. Vm is given as 20 Hertz. Instantaneous voltage the equation for instantaneous voltage is V is equal to Vm sine of omega t. Then Vm sine of omega t is omega t also can be replaced as omega is equal to pi mu, where mu is the work frequency. Now Vm is given that is peak value of voltage is 20 volt. So Vm is equal to 20 volt and sine of 2 pi mu, that is frequency f is given as 2 pi f is 50 hertz. So it is 100 pi t. So 20 sine of 100 pi t and pi is the value is 3.14, then it becomes V is equal to 20 sine of 314t. So this is the equation for the corresponding voltage, instantaneous value. So it is the equation V is equal to V, Vm that is V is equal to 20 sine of 314t. Now time for one cycle, that t is equal to in reciprocal of the frequency that is 1 upon f is 1 upon 50 is equal to 0 0.02 second. That is 20 millisecond. So the time for one cycle is 20 millisecond and the waveform is given below. So the its waveform V is equal to sine of 20 sine of 314. It is sinusoidal waveform. The Vm that is peak value is 20 volt. So here is the sinusoidal waveform for the corresponding equation whose Vm is 20 volt here. Okay, and the corresponding cycle for one complete cycle is 20 millisecond. So in 20 millisecond, this completes is one cycle. Okay, so this is the corresponding waveform. Next example, the equation for an alternating current is given by the equation I is equal to 77 sine of 314. And the peak value of the current frequency time period and instantaneous value at time t is equal to millisecond. So here equation of the current is given as i is equal to 77 sine of 314. You have to find out the peak value of the current that is im you have to find out. Also frequency f you have to find out. And also you have to find out a time period and instantaneous value at time t is equal to millisecond. So here the equation given is i is 77 sine of 314. The t is equal to 2 millisecond, that is t is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 second. So the general equation for an alternating current is I is I m sine of omega t. So let us compare it with this equation. So here I will get I m is equal to 77 ampere. I m peak value is 77 ampere. Then omega is equal to 314. Frequency f is equal to omega 1 2 pi, that is 314 upon 2 pi it gives me 50 hertz frequency and time period t is equal to 1 f that is equal to 150 f is 50 hertz so it is 1 upon 50 hertz 1 upon 50 is nothing but 0 0.02 second here it is 1 upon 50 here is 1 upon 50 so it is 1 upon 50 upon is equal to 0 0.02 second the time period is 20 millisecond i can write now, what he has asked at time t is equal to 2 millisecond, 
what is the instantaneous value of the current so put time t is equal to 2 millisecond here in this equation and i is equal to 77 sin of 314 into 2 millisecond into 2 into 10 to the minus 3 hence i will get i is equal to 45.24 ampere that time t is equal to 2 millisecond the instantaneous value of the current is 45.24 ampere so thank you